I honor the grace, Mama. Honor the grace. Um, let me start by being in this church. It has been so sweet. The revelations in the word that Mom has been teaching us so sweet to my to my soul. Oh, I don't know that it's too sweet to me. Uh, and the grace that is here, grace that I had not seen it elsewhere. This, oh, and you know, I, I thank God for that. One thing that Mama keeps saying is that we be deliberate, and I think I've I've learned to to learn that word afresh. That you be deliberate, be, being deliberate in following. I remember when I came here, um, we had been baptized somewhere. We've been, uh, my kids had been dedicated, but what I find here is something different. And I said, fine, I want to, I want to, I want this grace. I want the same to continue and to tap into this grace. So I went, I went through the same, my kids, and I can see what is happening. I can see what is happening. Uh, during the three days program, I remember my, I came with my mama and my mom. And mom said, mom prophesied and say, said that there will be massive restoration in my family. And like immediately, something is happening to my sister. You know, she had missed uh, an attachment like three, four years ago, and now she could not graduate. She could not get a job yet. She, again, it, it was out of carelessness. You know, when kids are in their some years, they are a bit careless. So she didn't see any reason to do it, but she could not graduate. Right now, out of her own volition. And anyway, immediately she got a call and was told, come, we are, sit, we are doing the same again. Come and do it. This time, all through the years, I've, I've been forcing her. And she doesn't want, so I give up. But this time, she agreed. Actually, out of her own accord, she told me, I've been invited to go and do it. And she has already completed her three weeks, like this Friday. That is restoration to me. Amen. Um, and apart from that, I, there are other things I don't want to preempt. Let me just wait for the right time for them to be said. But uh, hmm, allow me to say this. When I still came to this church, one day Mama had scheduled to see me, so she told me, so I was to come and see Mama. And I, I looked at myself, I, I knew that I should not appear empty-handed before the woman of God, but I didn't have anything that time. So in my house were some good onions. And I said, she's a woman of God, she will know that I didn't have anything else. I'll carry these onions. <laughs> And I carried the onions. I packaged some onions and I came with them. And Mama received them. Mama received them. Um, we prayed and I left. That very week, I still remember. It, that was last year, January. That very week, my brother and my sister, my, bro, my sister and my, now my brother-in-law, they live in Nyeri. I remember it was a Thursday. They called me and told me we are in Nairobi. We are coming to visit you. That was early in the morning because I had not woken up. So when they came, among the things they brought were some onions. Now, the funny thing is that onions have never missed in my house up to this date. Mm -hmm. Even now. And when they are about to finish, I, they speak to me, by the way. Those onions speak to me. When they are about to finish, I know it's a time of refilling. It's just about to. And before they finish, others come. And they don't just come alone. They come, they come with other goodies. They have never. That speaks to me also. That that which you plant in this grace, it will continue. It is continuous. It spoke to me by the, okay, about partnership. I have no authority to speak about it. But let me just say it. But it tells me that even in partnership, the minute we partner in this ministry, You'll never run dry. It doesn't matter what you're giving. You'll never run dry. Amen. They've never run, those onions have never run dry in my house. Amen. And that which you plant in this ministry. And this, eh, I just love this grace. And I'm so humbled. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Amen. Celebrate Jesus.